Hi everyone, it's Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Welcome. So this is our Tuesday Fun with Fabric Day. And we have a nice big stack of fabric to show you. And we're going to be focusing on the book Modern Views. I also have a nice big stack of quilts over here to show you as well. Um, Modern Views has eight different patterns. Every pattern is written for three sizes. You can make a lap with one three yard kit. You can make a twin with two three yard quilt kits. And you can make a king queen with four quilt kits. So you can do all of that by ordering on fabriccafe.com. If you haven't already downloaded um, one of these, it's in our free goodies section on our website. And this is my pattern collection sheet. If you're new to Fabric Cafe, then you'll want one of these because it has all of our patterns listed and it also has our books listed. It also has little notations by the patterns. If the pattern is also in a book, it's going to tell you. So this says attraction is in book five and then it has a little number. That's the pattern number. If it's an individual pattern, it has its own number as well. So you look at attraction, it's in book five. You come down here and you find book five is easy peasy three yard quilts. It's real easy to use. It's a great way to keep up with your patterns because these are better than potato chips. If you have one, you'll want a whole lot more. So that is our pattern collection sheet. So with no further ado, we're going to get started. And the first pattern in this book is called Chain Reaction. This one is a great design that, as I said, is written for the lap, the twin, and the king queen. And it has a cool little look to it that's, uh, it, it almost looks like it's going to be really, really hard, but it's not. It's two simple blocks. And here's our layout instructions. You have two blocks and you just alternate those blocks and it comes out great. So let's look at those. So that's our first one is chain reaction. And we have, this one is called Majesty. And it's using three great fabrics. I wanna show you a lot of backs today because we have some cool backing. Let me show you this so you can get the quilting stitches. It's fun to see all those quilt stitches. Now I'm going to put this down on the table and show you those two easy blocks. So, you know, let's do something really cool here and get, I'm going to just walk over here. You don't have to follow me. And I'm going to get this handy dandy tool that you made for us so they can see the two cool blocks. So this is John's little in invention. And we're going to take this out. So here's block number. Well, I think this is block number two, but this is one block here. And you can see it's a very simple block that's put together with strip piecing. And then the second block is this one. Again, it's a very simple block. It's just a snowball. So this is a cool way for you to see uh, that particular block pattern. Now here are the fabrics, and this one, let me take the quilt away. Here are the three fabrics if John wants to come up close. The first one is a great, I'm, I love green, and uh, this one is a great kind of a springy green with a swirl. The white is also a swirl. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera or not, but it also has a swirl. And this is a nice uh, modeled fabric or marble looking fabric. So those are the three fabrics. This is on our website as a kit. 802088 is majestic. The book pattern is chain reaction. If you want a different pattern, there are others listed, or you can write it in the comments if you would like a different pattern than what uh, we're showing you here. Because when you have three yards of fabric, you can make any one of the patterns that I write. Now I've got that in another colorway. So if you prefer 
these colors and this one's fun I call this one lakeside and the kit code is 802087 this is also going to be the chain reaction and let's look at those pretty pretty fabrics here this one is just a light gray on a white background and that gives a little interest to your white and then this one is the uh, green that goes with that. Now let's look at the kit and you'll be able to see those cute daisies are in that larger white section so it gives it a little bit more interest but still this one has to have really high contrast with your colors or you'll lose the the design that goes with it. Modern Views is written so that you can use a lot of tone on tone fabrics or the uh, the prints that are, are smaller, they will work well. I don't use a lot of large prints in this particular uh, book. All right. The next pattern in this book is the jigsaw. And the jigsaw pattern is one that has been really, really popular. And when I had this particular fabric that's in the book, everybody wanted that fabric. However, you know, all good things come to an end. I sold out of that fabric. But the other day I was looking at my inventory and I found some fabric that I thought would look great. So I'm going to show you that, but let's show you the quilt first. So this one is Jigsaw. It has an interesting pattern that kind of dips into each other. And again, it's sort of like you look at it and you go, wow, how did you do that? So this one I'm going to show you the block on it just like we did on the last one because it's kind of fun just to see what the block is. So we use our little cropping tool and we will bring, let me find the block, okay? <laughs> Sometimes even I need to find that block. Okay, I found the block. It's kind of like, sort of like a little I spy game, isn't it? So here's your block and that is a repeated block just in two different colors. So here's one block and it has the, the floral in the corner and here's the second block and let me get this spread out here a little bit and this is your second block and it has the floral on the outside so it's just a, the opposite as the, the other block. So that's a really cool block for you to see and here's the fabric that I found. I think the uh, quilting is very nice on this one, too. Yes. And wait till you see the back also. Let us show the back of it. Okay. Can you, can you pick it up? It's got a polka dot, but look at that great stitching on top of that white. Shows it very nicely. Okay, so this one's called Jigsaw. Put that over here. And here's the fabric that I saw in my... Um, in my fabric room the other day. I was looking at something and I realized I could mimic that with this fabric. This is a little bit of a metallic fabric, but it has the same great, this is a, a stock fabric, and so it has that same great teal color with a black. So that would give you the same kind of look as this particular quilt. So we're going to bring that over here so you can see it again. See how that works? It kind of has the same, a very similar look. This is not quite as white as that is, but I think it would mimic it very nicely. This one is called Moonlight. Your pattern number is 8020170. So that one is called Jigsaw and it's Moonlight. This is another fabric that I, <laughs> you should see us looking around our, our fabric room going, hmm, what can we show them today? So <laughs> this one we found and we said, oh, this is a great one. I think it would also look great in the jigsaw. It would give you a little bit different look, but this would be the floral. This would be where the teal is and this would be where your black is. It's a very pretty fabric from Quilting Treasures and 
Did I tell you the number? 8020173. This one's called Violet Dreams. And let's look at these gorgeous fabrics. I love this fabric. That is such a great secondary fabric for your number two spot. And then your number three. So this one is called Violet Dreams and I suggested the Jigsaw. The next one that we're going to look at is Jacob's Ladder. Now Jacob's Ladder, I think I showed it to you the other day in something. I think I had, um, I think I had it in Yes, that was in Batiks the other day, and this one is just in some pretty little prints. And I found a print that I thought would be perfect to go along with um, this one. And this one has a fun pattern, but it's kind of tone on tone. Can you see the stitching on that if I get it into the light? Okay. Very geometric. And yes. Fun. All right, we're going to put this one over here, and this is what I found in the fabric room that I thought would make a great kit. Isn't that one sweet? And so I called this one Happy Dance, partially because of these little bouncing lines here. I thought that was cute. <laughs> so let's look at this, and we'll talk about how can you see your three different colors. So this one... This would be your fabric one, and that's what you see here where the blue is. Then this one would be everywhere there's white, and this would take the place of your little dot. And this one is called Happy Dance, and I just think it's a really sweet, pretty, pretty print. And that little secondary has just a little hint of color in it. Can you see that kind of a a gray that will go perfectly with your just little bitty specks of color. I like that one. Okay, next we're going to talk about the gallery pattern. This is the gallery pattern. And the gallery was the cover of Modern Views. And I love this particular one. But we've done it in different colors. We've got a color here, and we're going to show it to you in a neutral. And this is another one that has great quilting on this one. So let's, let's show them the back. Isn't that great? And it, that was one thing that I've always appreciated when David and Karen were our quilters. They picked up the little hexagon looking um, design that was in the fabric and mimicked it in the the pattern. So this again is just two simple blocks and if I were to show you those two simple blocks we're going to come up here and we'll we'll bring our cropping tool in and out so that it will show you that's block number one and then a simple rail fence is your block number two. Three yard quilts are so easy to do and you get such a great look from those, from just the, the simplest of stitches and the simpling, simplest of blocks. Now let's look at another one. I showed you this pretty bright one. Now let's look at study in neutral. So a couple of quick questions we got out. Today. Okay. Uh, Brenda was asking, can we buy these fabrics? Every one of these are a kit. And so all of these are on our web and they are available for you to purchase. Some of our kit, some of the quilts that I'm showing you, I don't have this fabric. But I'm trying to show you different things that you might use where you could actually mimic the look of that fabric if you just really like it. Now that pattern is called Gallery. You want to show the cover? And then Pat, here was the name of the book again. And you do get a free book when you buy three kits. 
and you'd get all eight of those patterns with all three sizes for each one of the, the patterns. And we're talking about gallery, so this is the, the quilt. A lot of these quilts I'm showing you were the ones that we used in the book originally, and we kind of hang on to those to share. And then I remake them over and over again in different fabrics, and it gives you a totally different look. So I'm going to ask John to show you gallery over here one more time. And then look at this one. And this is the gallery done in study in neutrals. So if you're a bright person, you can make it out of bright fabrics. If you like more subtle colors, you can do that. And if you're kind of funky like I am, uh, you can do funky fabrics like this. <laughs> that it does, it looks like a, in a way it looks like a totally different uh, pattern. Now this pattern is one that I especially like to show people. It's a great way to use stripes. And these are little polka dot stripes. They're so much fun. They have a stripe, but then they have a line of polka dots as well. So this is a fun fabric for that. Now let's get an up close with those fabrics right here. So this kit, the kit number is 802030, study in neutral, and it's called Gallery. So if you went to our website, if you wanted to either take a note or make a screenshot of this particular little sign, then you could just go and search on that in the upper right-hand corner of our uh, home page. There's a, a search button. It's on every page. These are the three fabrics that are in that particular quilt, and they're just too fun. So that one is called Study in Neutral. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to straddle two different quilts here because this fabric is a great, it's a great, great um, fabric for you to use if you wanted. So see how similar these colors are to this? See the similarity in colors? So this one would look good in the gallery pattern, if you prefer, you could do this one in the gallery fabric, in the gallery pattern. Or I was going to recommend that you use diamond dust. Now diamond dust is a little bit more challenging just because it's a half rectangle instead of a half square triangle, it's a half rectangle. So this is the diamond dust pattern and that one, too, is in the book Modern Views. And I thought that this would be perfect to take the place of this particular uh, fabric. So you'd use this in this area, and then you would use this where the purple is, the light purple, and then you would use this for your dark purple. And I think it would look great. Then let's see, the back on this one is something you want to see. I used a, a simple uh, fabric. It's actually kind of a light blue, very light blue kind of hash mark uh, going on in the background of that, but it really helps the stitches to show. So really nice there. So this is the, the diamond dust. Let's put this up here and show the square so you can see what's going on here. This is actually a rectangle, and here is your rectangle. So we're going to put that right here. We're gonna bring this in. We're gonna bring this in, and there is your half rectangle. Now when you make this, there's a little trick to making a half rectangle, and I show because you have to make the mirror image. So here's one of the rectangles. Then you have to make a mirror image for the second. Let's get that up here. So here you've got one going one way and one going the other way. So it's just a mirror image. And I tell you exactly how to do it. It's not hard. It's just different because I remember whenever I got the idea of this quilt, I thought, and it's easy when you're playing with your computer uh, programming, 
it was real easy to draw it all out and everything. And then I, I came in and it was a Saturday and nobody else was here. And I thought, well, I'm gonna make some of these half ring rectangles and put them together and see how it looks. Well, I just tried to make it like you would a half square triangle and it didn't work. I had nice little kites. <laughs> So that meant a little bit of research and a little bit of playing around so that I learned how to make half rectangles. So this is a really fun one that's in that book if you want something with a little bit more challenge to it. Just learn something new. All right, the next one I want to show you is called Dominique. Dominique is one that I've shown you before in different fabrics, but I really like this one. And if you're the kind of person that likes to make really sweet quilts. To me, this one's a sweet quilt. And it has a little bit of a modern twist to it. Um, the first person that, I always have my quilts made by a tester to make sure the patterns work. And the first person that uh, did it said, I love that little flower that you created in the middle. And um, it is a cute one. So let's put that up here. And, I bet you'd like to see the block on this too. It's kind of fun to show you the blocks. So here's our block right here. Uh, let me find the block. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun to find the block. It's a new game we're gonna play. Let's make sure I'm finding the block here. Okay, see I do things ad lib. I just decided that I wanted to show you this. Okay, here's our block. So it's really different. And whenever you make that block, you're, you're not, uh, you're not going to make it the way I just showed you, though. There you <laughs> go. There you go. Here's the easy block, okay? So there's your block. Just about super simple. So you're going to have two pieces and one piece here. And uh, that's your block. And then you're going to sash it. Now we have, we have these Pretty posies. Let me move this. And pretty posies would mimic that very well. We do show you on our website pretty posies with a uh, different pattern if you want to make it. But Dominique is a really great substitute. This particular fabric is great for the Dominique and I think you'd get a very similar look. So let's look at these three fabrics. And then I'm going to bring this back over here. And you can see how, if you can envision it, you're going to get a very similar look. You're going to have a, a little more color here and here, but you're going to have those same kind of look and feel as this particular quilt. So it helps you with your imagination to see this quilt, how this one's going to turn out. So this one, Pretty Posies using the Dominique pattern. This particular one is called It's a Breeze. Now I searched the world over and I didn't, I, I did find True Love, his name is Bob, but um, I didn't find any fabric in my fabric rooms that would mimic this particular one. But I found some fabrics that I thought would look really good in this particular pattern. And this one is called It's a Breeze. We're going to put that right here. And now we're back to half square triangles. And I picked out some blues. I thought these would look so pretty in this. So if we're gonna look at this, we've got this pretty blue batik. And I hope you can get the coloration in this one because it has background, it's just faded out, it's really sweet. And that would be your number two fabric. And then this is your uh, third fabric here. And I think that would look great. So you could do the, you could do either the blue floral here. So this would be here, or you could use it here, either one. Because there's another great thing about three yard quilts. They all, there's three positions and every position takes the same amount of fabric, one yard. Unless you want to make it bigger, then you need two yards each for a twin or four yards each for a queen king. So this one I thought was great. I'm calling it Singing the Blues. 
And the pattern is It's a Breeze. Pattern number 8020172. Next, and I'm going to move this back because my pile is getting too tall and I'm short. <laughs> okay, the next one, this particular kit is called Windy Hill and I'm suggesting that you, can, you would be able to make illusions using that particular fabric and that it would be great. I don't have this fabric but um, it's a fun one to use small prints or, or I guess you might call them uh, indistinct prints. They're kind of fun that way. And this one has a great backing too, John. Isn't that cute? Okay, so let's look at this from the perspective of these black, gray, and a red polka dot. So here's your red polka dot, so you can envision this and that being in your red polka dot. And then this would be your lighter background color or your number two color. And then this would be where the blue is. And I think that would be a really, really nice quilt made with those three. So Clorinda just asked us about the singing the blues. Are all of those batiks? Yes, all three are batiks. If you'd like to see. This one is a batik also. It just has a real subtle color. It's got blues that kind of lean a little bit to a purple, but it it's, goes really well with these blues. And you know how batiks shade in and out. But there's a little bit of a purple tinge to some of these little blocks too. So they coordinated really well, but absolutely, they're all three batiks. And it's a brand new batik kit. You haven't seen that one before. So Windy Hill, I recommend for illusions. And to end with one more batik, uh, I call this one Rain Fresh, and I'm recommending the same pattern, the illusions. Uh, that particular one, Rain Fresh, is 8020174, three batiks, and again, it's the pretty blues. So this would be your number one fabric, your number two fabric. And this one is, it may have been out of the same line. It's just kind of a soft background color. It's perfect for making um, these two pop whenever you create your design as is in this, some pretty blues and purples. So this is a great batik quilt as well, and I'm recommending the illusion pattern. Put that back over there. So today we've covered the Modern Views book, and I've shown you quilts from every one of the patterns. There are eight patterns, every pattern is written for three sizes, either a lap, a twin, or a king queen. You can use any three yard quilt, three yards, to make any one of the patterns in a lap size. If you want to enlarge it, order two matching kits. The instructions for enlarging are in the book. And then two kits are required for a twin, four kits for a king queen. So when you order three kits, you'll get the book free. You simply write that in the comments section of your order form. So it's Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. I hope you've enjoyed our show today. We'll be back on Thursday afternoon with something else fun. So we'll see you then. Have a great day.